like many things, it, it, it has multiple definitions depending on with whom you're speaking. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's looking at tasks, activities, and processes. And it's looking at situations where you have human intervention, oftentimes between different systems. And so it sits on top, if you will, almost like a macro in Excel, sits on top and enables you to take electronic information from one system or source, um, do some level of manipulation of the data and information, enter it into the next system or the next system, and stringing those together. So again, it sits on top, often automating what's called the last mile in many situations, where the business case to initially create straight through processing wasn't there, but now you have a lower cost technology that can sit on top and get you that straight through processing. 2016 saw a lot of focus on applying RPA in the back office and in, in, in back office outsourcing situations. Whereas 17, we think that there will be some look at the processes early, earlier in the process where you can fix and prevent some of the things that actually drive cost in the back office and create the need to do this outsourcing of the constant repetitive fixing of different things that actually happen upstream.